It came from the land of heat and plastic! Welcome to Episode 5, Luther's Pulpit. Today is a classic example of the coolness of 3D printing. You can have an idea in your head and make it come to life um, within just a matter of hours. I received this cool Luther Playmobile toy and it has sat on my desk ever since I got it last Christmas. Kind of a reference there to the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. It's pretty cool little toy. It's part of my little Luther display here on my desk, but one problem has it, it always falls forward like that. And it's like every bump on the desk, people stomping in my room, it falls forward, and I was always setting it up straight. So my original thought was to just 3D print something to hold speed up, but then I thought I would get a little bit crazier and actually make a pulpit for Luther to stand in. Um, on my desk for display purposes. So I'm going to show a little bit of how I designed it. Basically it's just geometric shapes that Tinkercad gives you. And you just stack them and place them wherever you want and you can create holes. Um, you know that whole archway there is just a half circle on top of a rectangle so it's you know it's pretty straightforward um, creation I say it only took me uh, maybe an hour not even to uh, design this on the computer and then boom hit print and voila your um, the thought in your mind it comes to life you got one support here just for that top brick in the center the capstone it would have looked pretty ugly without some supports so, oh and you notice that there are some feet printed for Luther to um, sit stand on it really does secure him well in that place you'll notice it does not fall over uh, at least not easily. You gotta really push it good. I, it's been on my desk now for a few days and it hasn't fallen over. So, so far, so good. It seems to have solved the problem of Luther falling over. Plus, it's really cool looking. I have to admit, it came out really nice. Um, you know, it's got Luther there in his pulpit. Only thing is, the book and the, the pen doesn't really fit because you don't often hold a pen when you're preaching. I don't know what I'll do about that. Probably just keep it there. But here we got a 3D look at it. Um, Luther standing there. <clears throat> I added that support in the bottom so it doesn't tip forward easily. Just want to mention that. And the inspiration for this came from Lucas Cronach's photo that is in my office. And you notice the pulpit on the right there. Uh, that's basically what I modeled this pulpit off of. Took a little liberties there with some of the designs. And that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. One final, um, one final go at the time lapse. It's a pretty cool time lapse, I have to admit. It's a kind of an impressive one. Have a good day, guys. Remember to like and subscribe.